welcome to my channel my name is rachel banks and i plan to bring you beauty to beauty okay guys so um right now i'm relaxing in my bed this is a vlogmas day two and today has been semi crazy but not really um i did get up at the wee hours in the morning i got up at seven this morning to run a report for my job um i do work for um a retail company and so sometimes well this is the um peak season so this is like the busy season you know because of the holidays um so they require um corporate support which would be me um on the weekends and that would be the, like the retail stores or the distribution centers would require some corporate support um so i had to get up this morning to run a report um which was fine it didn't take long um and then right after that you know i went in there and did the chores that i said i was gonna do yesterday that i didn't do because i was working that wine and i was chilling watched me some youtube ate some of that baked chicken i was telling y'all i was gonna cook and i had some jasmine rice to go with it um and then after that it was all she wrote i relaxed a little bit and then i fell asleep um so i got those chores done today early um and then right now I am attempting to make my first chicken pie pie. Yes, guys, I'm going to try to make a chicken pie pie. So I ran out to the store because I already had chicken breast. I had some frozen peas and I had some, I have tons of frozen vegetables, but I had some frozen broccoli and um, I have tons of canned cream soup from the holidays, from Thanksgiving. So I'm not going to make like a dressing on Christmas. I'm going to make probably like a lasagna, a couple of large roasting chickens and some string beans and some rolls or some um, garlic bread or something like that for Christmas. So I have all of this canned cream soup cream of soup that i'm not going to use like cream of chicken cream of celery so i was like let me try to make a chicken pie pie i ain't never made no chicken pie pie before so we'll see how it's gonna turn out so i ran out to the store to get some phyllo dough i think that's a yeah, phyllo dough and then i went and got some puff pastry because um initially when i was first like thinking of it um I was like, I'm going to give me some puff pastry, make like a crust with it, put it in the oven, let it cook. Because I want my crust to be really flaky. Um, and then I was going to put the um, filling in and then put puff pastry on top. But then I was talking to one of my girlfriends and she was like, do you think the puff pastry is going to hold up to the filling? So I didn't want to use like a regular pie crust because sometimes pie crust could be hit or miss when you buy them pre-made and because i wanted to be kind of flaky i wanted to get something that i knew would be flaky which i thought the puff pastry would be like layery flaky kind of like um so i got the phyllo dough while i was there i saw it i was like okay let me try that as the crust and then put the puff pastry on top and then i grabbed one more secret ingredient that i'm going to add to well hopefully it'll be a secret ingredient hopefully it will be a win because I've never made it before, I don't have anything to compare it to. But in my head, I'm like, I don't want it to be too soupy. I want it to be, you know, of course, a little soupy, but not too, too soupy. So I grab something that I want to add to it to kind of like soak up just a little bit of the juice and to enhance the flavor. So I'm going to show you that. So I'm going to take you in the kitchen with me. Um, but right now, I got the chicken breast on top of the stove. So I'm going to show you that. Um, and I just got it sauteing. Um, and then I'm going to cut it up once it's done cooking. I'm going to let it rest, cut it up or whatever. And then we're going to add um, the cream of soups and the secret ingredient. Um, and we'll taste it and see how it tastes. Because in my head, I'm like, if I season that chicken to perfection, like even a little bit above and beyond perfection so that the seasoning can kind of season the soup, um, and then add this other ingredient and then add like the frozen vegetables. It should be good. Like everything, if everything tastes good, it should be good. Like it's just, if the, the dough don't do right, I'm kind of, I don't know, but I'm going to try to cook the phyllo dough first, like get it nice and browned and then put the, um, fill it in there and then put the puff pastry on top and see how that works out so hopefully that is what's going to help it to be a winner um and if it is because i love chicken pot pie i'm gonna always make it okay because i love chicken pot pie now i know that the one that you get from the store is really fattening i gotta look at the calories on the back of the cans of soup but i think because i'm going to be using cans of soup i don't know if they put like all that cream and butter and stuff like that um in the can of soup so we'll see i had to look at all that stuff if it's gonna be as fattening as when you buy them pot pies from the frozen food section 
Um, and my favorite frozen um, pot pie is, um, I don't know, I'm kind of torn between chicken and, chicken and turkey, but my favorite brand is Marie Callender's. I think that's how you say her last name. Um, but, you know, it comes like the green box. You can either get like the normal size chicken pot pie or you can get the ginormous one. Um, but either way, it is the bomb.com, but it has so many calories in it. Oh my gosh. Um, so you can't eat them every day. Those like once in a while treats, um whenever you get you a chicken pie pie um but anyways so i'm just relaxing right now i'm having me a little cocktail um i got my candles burning um my husband had ran out for a second he'll be right back and then we'll be watching football together although i'll much rather be watching youtube but it's our bonding day and football is on so it's football sunday um so we'll be watching football and having us a little cocktail until dinner gets ready um and that's it we're just chilling the boys are periodically stopping in we're in the bedroom right now usually we'll be down in my husband's man cave um but we're up here chilling in the bedroom watching tv my um boys will be stopping in and out to like check on the game or whatever but they're playing their little video games and then Celia's is in her own little world so i'm gonna let her be um and then pearl our baby cat she's right here next to me um living her best life um so yeah i'm sipping me a little cocktail oh let me show you what i'm drinking okay guys i'm sipping some pink cranberry juice with um citrus absolute vodka with a hint of ginger beer um and then i got my pomegranate candle burning unfortunately bath and body works doesn't have this candle anymore this candle is the bomb.com i've been trying to save it for as long as i could but i just ran out of candles so thank god they just had the um three week sale because i needed some more candles and then i also have this lavender vanilla i love that scent too and then i got my white sangria that i need to put in the fridge and then I have my cedar back there that I burned earlier. But you can see I have um, the paleo sticks and the white sage in there as well. So I do like to burn that to relax. And then in my diffuser, I have some patchouli oil, some lavender. And uh, I think that's the only two things I put in my diffuser today was the patchouli oil and the lavender. So I am very relaxed. Okay, so right now I just added some carrots. To the pan after I took the chicken out and cooking all the little bits just so it could soften just a little I don't want my carrots to be too soft but they were fresh carrots so I want them to cook just a little bit before I add the cream of soup okay so I took the chicken breast and I cut it up really good it's nice and chunky um, seasoned really really well I added it to the carrots um, I'm gonna show you some of the seasons that I got with the chicken breast so I added my Weber roasted garlic and herb seasoning. And then I added some sea salt. And I added some black pepper. And, oh, and some garlic powder. And now my pan, I have put it in the oven so it can get nice and hot so I can butter it. I'm about to take it out. Okay, so I added butter all to the bottom of my pan that I'm going to be cooking this pot pie in. Just nice and buttery on the bottom so I can add my phyllo dough. Okay, although I thawed my broccoli and my peas, I did add them to the pan and let them saute a bit to make sure there was no extra moisture because I don't want it to be too, too soupy. So I did add the peas and the broccoli. Guys, yeah, so I added the soup. So let me show you what I added. I added some cream of chicken. I added three cans of the cream of chicken. And then I added three cans of the cream of celery. And here's what I think is going to help it not to be too thick. I am going to add some French's crispy fried onions. Mmm. Yummy. Okay, so I got the crust all nice and crusty. All nice and crispy so that it's not too soggy when I add the filling. That's what I'm hoping. Then I'm going to put some phyllo dough on top. At first, I was going to put some puff pastry. But it's so much phyllo dough in the pack. And I have to go ahead and use them. It's going to add it to the top, too. Okay, guys. So, my chicken pie pie is out the oven. I did decide to go ahead and go with the phyllo 
I mean, not the phyllo, the um, puff pastry on top. Um, just because I thought it would be nice and flaky and delicious. Um, I didn't want to take any chances on that phyllo dough kind of like drying it out. So I think it would hold better as the crust and the puff pastry as the, um, the top part. Um, but as you can see, this is how it looks nice in the toasted brown, nice puffy. Now I was pretty smart. I went ahead and put my, um, dish and a big aluminum pan so if anything spilled over it wouldn't waste and dirty up my stove or I wouldn't get any smoke or anything so this is the finished product yummy okay guys so dinner was a success um everybody enjoyed the food so I'm going to show you a picture of the food when I served it onto the plate and then after okay so let me tell you this before i do that um my son told me he said mom you should sell this it's that good i was like okay thank you honey bunny um, um but it was really really good it was something different i'm telling you the french onions added um good flavor and it made if you are a crust person it made it seem like the crust was all the way through like it was just a little piece of crust everywhere so good so so good i definitely recommend you trying out the recipe that i made today hands down it was the bomb.com oh the only thing that i probably would change next time is that i will use the puff pastry for the bottom crust as well as the top crust because it was delicious um the phyllo dough it wasn't bad like it was still a delicious pot pie but it was i don't know the puff pastry was the best so yeah i would use puff pastry for the bottom i would let it brown then add the filling and then put the puff pastry on top and put it back in the oven and i cooked my pie pie in the oven on 400 and i don't know how many minutes i just kept checking it um until it was nice and golden brown and crusty because the filling is already done and warm because you're cooking the chicken breast you're cooking all the vegetables and then you're adding the soup and you're kind of cooking that trying to get all of that moisture out um, so it's already warm and then the bottom crust is already warm because you cooked it and got it brown. So you're just layering and then you just want that top crust to get nice and brown and crunchy and crispy and delicious. So yeah, it was really, really good. So let me show you before and after of the plate. Okay, guys, so hopefully you all really, really enjoyed this video. This was vlog Vlogmas Day 2. Stay tuned for Vlogmas Day 3 on tomorrow. So thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. Make sure you click like and share. And then to all my existing subscribers, I appreciate your support. Thank you so very much. And I will talk to you all soon. I don't know why my cheeks are so red. <laughs> all right.